Nebraska, sleeper state for whitetails. You know there are about 180,000 deer in the state right now and some really great bucks. It's a secret spot where big deer's Willie Smith loves to go in the rut. He's hunting river bottom whitetails on the North Platte River, now on Big Deer. I started hunting whitetails with my dad more than 30 years ago. When I see a buck sneaking through the woods, I still get as excited as I did back then. No animal is as beautiful, mysterious, and challenging as an old whitetail buck. The longer you hunt it, the deeper he gets in your mind and blood. I'm Mike Hanback, and I live to hunt big deer. This week, I'm hunting the North Platte River in the Panhandle of Nebraska. It's a sportsman's paradise with tons of wildlife. There are waterfowl, turkeys, and deer, lots of them. The area has great deer habitat. The North Platte River has tons of islands, willows, and Russian olives offering thick cover, and there's a ton of winter wheat, corn, and alfalfa for them to eat. It's a beautiful part of the country and a ton of fun to hunt deer here. This gun I'm using on this hunt's a Remington Model 700 BDL in 7mm mag. It's an anniversary edition, the 50th anniversary edition of both the 700 and the 7mm mag. When I picked up the Remington at Cabela's, they did mount the Trigicon scope and bore sighted it, but obviously that's not good enough to go off of for a hunt, so we're gonna go fire a couple shots and make sure it's on for the hunt. All right, let's see if this thing's on. Looks to be a touch low. Shoot another one, I like to shoot a couple. Yep. Make a quick adjustment. It's about inch and a half, two inches low. So one clicks a quarter inch at 100 yards. I had to bring it up six and we'll see what that does. Bingo, about an inch high at 100. Let's go up and take a look. Pretty good, that's just what we're looking for. Those first two were low, about an inch and a half, two inches at 100. Made the adjustment to come up. Put it just about an inch high at 100 yards. Gun shoots great, Trigicon scope's dead on. I've been pulling some uh, trail cam photos and we've definitely got a few big boys around. Here's a pretty good buck. Good 10, good G3s, actually pretty good G4s, maybe four or five inches. Seems to have pretty good time length. I love all the raccoon activity. Here's a little eight. <sighs> he just beds down. Wants to be a movie star. Got this little doe that you just hangs around forever. She didn't want to leave the area. Actually have a couple of pretty good bucks on here that uh, I don't think we'd seen in some of the other trail cam photos. So the rut, we're probably gonna see bucks we never got on trail cam and probably won't see some we did get on trail cam photos. So that's what makes it exciting. They cruise up and down the river and get down on lockdown with the doe and never see them again. But uh, we've got some good quality bucks here and I can't wait to get started tomorrow. So we're gonna get to the stand about 30 minutes before shooting light to Get in there, let the wood settle down, and see what comes traipsing through. We're gonna be sitting in a ladder stand, uh, a couple travel corridors from the feed to the bed, in amongst some Russian olives with some open spots, and then those bucks, rutting bucks ought to be cruising back and forth. So 
far it's been a great morning. Took a while for things to kick off, but uh, with it being 14 degrees, I think they stay out and fed a little bit. But we've had deer activity all around. So a great chase sequence. Obviously a hot doe and two little tiny bucks. He was grunting, chasing her around. You could just hear him through the rush and all of them. Catch glimpses of them every once in a while, and then they ran right past our tree. afternoon. Maybe sit on the corn as they come out to feed. Maybe spend some time on the ground rattling and grunting and uh, spot stalking. So we'll head back right now, take a little break, and then hunt this afternoon this evening. Big Deer is presented by Cabela's, world's foremost outfitter. Also brought to you by Trigicon, brilliant aiming solutions. Remington, America's oldest gun maker. And supercharged scent killer by Wildlife Research Center, beyond 99%. Boy, we are hitting all the cool spots on big deer this season. I mean, Willie is going to Nebraska. Talk about another sleeper state for whitetails. Incredible, really coming on, you know. You hear about Iowa, you hear about Kansas, you hear about all the Midwest states around it, but I'll tell you, Nebraska got some monster bucks, and here's proof. This is one of the coolest deer you'll ever see. I think I was the first one to ever blog about it. Wes O'Brien's 284-inch monster, state record Nebraska. True sleeper state for giant bucks. Those kind of bucks are roaming out there. They're not behind every tree, but there's some good bucks in Nebraska. And check out this buck this young lady sent me. 173 inches. Amazing deer. Nebraska, big bucks coming on. Hopefully Willie's going to get it done. This morning, a lot of deer, a lot of uh, little bucks chasing does. I think we saw six different bucks. And now we're set up on the edge of this cornfield for an evening hunt. Our neighbor has an alfalfa field just off to our west. And uh, they typically will feed into the alfalfa, then jump the fence and come over. There's several that will come right from the bedding area. We've got a perfect wind tonight for it. You know, you're really waiting for those last probably 10 or 15 minutes for the bucks to come out and check all the does that are in the field. But you never know, we could get one coming out here as we're talking, you just don't know. One thing I've done tonight is put out a, a doe decoy. Um, tuck some scent up under a tail on a scent pad, but also it gives sort of a confidence decoy for those deer that maybe want to come out in the field and aren't quite sure that first, first deer out is always the guinea pig. Gives them a little confidence, hopefully gets them out here a little bit earlier if they're hanging up and and especially if they're coming from our neighbors out south of the into our corn. Shows that we got some pretty good stuff over here. They better get over here and start chomping. Well, it was a slow night after a hot morning, but tomorrow is another day. cold this morning. It's supposed to be a high of 30 today. We saw so many does yesterday that I've decided to take my bow this morning and try to do some doe management and hopefully get some venison. Feels like a deer day. Thank you. 
You know, I think Willie's decision to switch from a gun to a bow for a day was a good call. Now, the couple of days he'd been hunting, he'd been seeing a lot of bucks and the rut was just kicking in. But you know, when the rut starts, the little bucks move first and a lot of times it's a day or a couple of days until the really mature bucks get on their feet and start moving. So he figured, what the heck, let's do a little doe management, get a little venison, wait a day or two till the big boys are moving, then the buck hunt rolls on. We just recovered the doe I shot a little bit ago with the bow. Good mature doe. If you're going to harvest does, that's what you have to try to take is the big mature ones, not the young ones. This time of year, it's tough to tell if it's a button buck or not, so just make sure they got that long face. And good mature doe. She didn't go probably 40 yards, maybe, and uh, she went down quickly and humanely, and she's going to taste awfully good. Coming up on Big Deer. It's a good buck, it's a shooter. We decided to try a little different set this evening. We've been set up in this opening in the middle of the Russian olives a couple of times and set up on the cornfield. So this evening we decided to try this spot. It's a big open spot, just some cottonwoods, no real undergrowth other than grass. Deer move across here on their way out to feed. Wind's right. We can see across the river. If we get a big buck coming across the river, it's about a 135 yard shot. Recovery might prove to be a little difficult crossing the river, but um, if we see the big boy, it's not that difficult of a shot, so we might take it. So, uh, gorgeous evening. The wind has died down from today. It's cool, it's only 30 degrees. That was about the high for today. And it's just a fun evening set because you get a lot of ducks and geese flying the river, and a lot of them landing in the rivers are coming back to feed, so. Hopefully we can uh, see the big boy tonight. Got a doe over there across the river. side of the river tonight but on the south side we saw quite a few does a little bit of chasing going on a couple small bucks and then at last light barely could see them through binoculars a pretty good buck came out to check out those does I think that's where we've got to spend some time tomorrow for us to gain access to the south side of the property we have to wait across because we don't have motorized access to get in there and uh, problem is you got to put chest waders on and uh, carry all your gear across and hopefully not find a deep spot and go in over the top. I've got a ground blind set up I set up about three days ago. Set up a couple trail cameras. The deer ought to be used to that ground blind. Anxious to see what's going on over there.
know, don't be afraid to try new things with your hunting. I mean, that is often the key to shooting a big buck. It's one of my best big buck tactics. You want that element of surprise. Anytime you can approach buck country from a new angle, wait a river, take a canoe, circle way around and come in a big buck's back door, you got a chance to fool that big deer and have a great hunt. There's a deer. Got him. I didn't hear him run crashing off and I didn't see him fall. There's a little slew over there. But I think this Remington 7mm mag probably did the trick. Just put it right on his high shoulder. It was a chip shot, I mean 45 yards, pretty much archery range. But I think this thing did the trick. I'm anxious to go check him out. But I just looked up, saw tines through the trees. He came moving out pretty quick and then he hit all these little poplar trees and I stopped him. Unfortunately, he came just far enough forward, his shoulder was exposed. Remington barked and hopefully we got him down. Anxious to go check him out. Looked like a nice buck. There's a little blood. Well this caps off a pretty good hunt here in Nebraska on the North Platte River. We've hunted hard, we've seen a lot of deer, a lot of chasing going on, it's always fun during the rut. Haven't seen a lot of the big boys and talking to a couple people, a couple outfitters, you know, the big boys may be on lockdown. These, the younger bucks are still chasing. There's some giants out here, there's no doubt about that, but this is just a good representative buck for the area. I couldn't be happier. It's got good mass, good symmetry, great nine point, good brows, and uh, I couldn't be happier, you know, when it comes down some of these hunts you hunt hard and 
You take a good representative buck of the area and I couldn't be happier. You make, take a good shot, the animal doesn't suffer, and it makes you want to come back next year for the, tro for the true trophy, for the giant. But it's a, just a good mature deer and that's what we want to take off of here. So let some of those others grow a little bit bigger and come after them next year. What a fun, fun hunt. Anywhere in North America, whitetails are river bottom animals. If you hunt good ground somewhere like a North Platte like that, you are going to have a good hunt and you might float at your own big buck and that's sure to be a cool hunt. Big Deer is presented by Cabela's, world's foremost outfitter. Also brought to you by Supercharged Scent Killer by Wildlife Research Center, beyond 99%. Nothing like fresh tenderloins on the grill, the night of a kill. Got some baked potatoes. These ought to be just about perfect. Real basic marinade, but it's very, very good. Just a quarter cup soy, quarter cup Worcestershire, quarter cup olive oil, and a quarter cup of Grey Poupon. That's it, let it marinate for a couple hours. Mmm. Yummy. We'll take these in, these ought to be great.